This is my review for Logan's Run. Wow, what a blast from the past. This is from 1976, I think. Uh, and I've never seen it. And I'm quite a big science fiction freak, actually. I love science fiction. And I was quite shocked, actually, that I'd never seen it. I'd always managed to kind of miss it somehow. <laughs> uh, and I finally managed to catch up with it on one of the online uh, viewing platforms. Well, it won uh, loads of awards at the time for the special effects. Things move on, okay? <laughs> um, if you're going to watch this now, really do take a pinch of salt with it and realise what everything else was like at the time. Uh, because you might be slightly upset by it. I've actually seen uh, films that have been made by students uh, now that are probably ten times better uh, than that and they've done it on their laptop and a green screen and it kind of just shows how much stuff has come on. Saying that, pretty good film for as long as you take in consideration it's an old film it's always going to look a bit Book Roger-ish. So a brief synopsis of the film is, it's quite a beautiful concept as well, is uh, uh, there's a, a planet, uh, or it's Earth, and on this planet we have this area that's uh, been domed off and everybody who is alive uh, has to live in this dome to, be, to exist. But because obviously there's a problem, a logistic problem with that, that people are going to out exceed the, the space that's allowed inside this, this dome, then they make it so if you hit, when you hit the age of 30, you actually have to die. And so everybody has a life expectancy of 30 years, uh, whatever happens. And it's a very positive, protected environment. Obviously some people might die earlier than that, uh, but uh, non probably through natural causes. And basically the storyline follows a series of people who uh, are trying to uh, get out of that system and don't agree with that system. Um, and, 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 and their enforcers that actually follow them to make sure they can't do that. It is acted very 70s wise. Um, it's it's very very 70s. I mean, it's only made two years eight later than I was born, and it's you can tell uh, I've aged relatively okay. I suppose <laughs> this film has aged less well, but it's still a beautiful classic. I mean, really really beautiful. F for the fact that everything is probably models, well, these models you can kind of tell that uh, scale models. It's pretty lush. Um, obviously, there's no special effects were possible pretty much then. Very, very few anyway. And uh, you do see the array of every single cutting edge special effect that was possible in this film. Acting throughout, a bit wooden, as said already, but 1970s styly, quite funny, quite well done, uh, and pretty good. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. It must be very hard for them to act in this situation because even though a lot of them were sets that they had been built, a lot of them is kind of it must have been quite short cuts. So you know that they, they basically they get onto a, a transporter kind of thing, but obviously they're not in the transporter. I mean, the, the, the actual filming of the people must have been quite you know discombobulated. Music, etc., is, is amazingly lush, actually. Um, Storyline is, as I said already, very clever. Really, really clever, actually. I possibly could have been slightly done better. Uh, I think it possibly could be done possibly better now if they could just keep the finger off the CGI button. Um, because there is a certain thing to it, the fact that it looks quite clunky and quite real and things are wobbly and, and things fall off a little bit so you can kind of tell everything's a little bit cheaply made they pull back a visor at one point like a, onto a, a vehicle and you can actually see that it's just just a bit of perspex and it's beautiful you know it's meant to be air pressurized it's quite beautiful it's it's obviously a bit of wobbly plastic and i quite like that in the fact that it, it just shows the age of the film and shows that actually however big a budget they had at the time it was a little bit cheaply made 
So I'm going to give this film 4 out of 5. Shockingly high, I know, but I think, seriously, it stood the test of time. If you like science fiction, you've got to see this, because so many science fiction films have come out of this, and it is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this review, and please don't forget to subscribe, or rate and comment below. Thank you.